So I'm going to be making a wood block print. Um, I was watching Wes Anderson's French Dispatch and one of the wallpapers caught my eye in the bathtub scene. And I thought it was really cool, so I pulled it out, traced it onto here. Um, it's kind of leafy, kind of geometric. Thought it would make a really good block print. I'm going to trace it onto this piece of wood, which I'm then going to route out all of the negative spaces and then cut the outside on the bandsaw. In which case, I will then lay out some paint, rub it on there, and print it onto this pillowcase. So let's get started. So these little dotted lines that I'm making on here are going to differentiate for me where I want to cut on the bandsaw versus where I'll be cutting with the router. Okay, so I'm going to start routing this out. Um, you can definitely do this with carving tools. I personally don't use them very often, so I'm not as comfortable with them. I use the router quite a lot, so this is much easier for me. Um, it's also very fast, so that's a nice feature. I can have from start to finish for this project pretty quickly. And for this, I'm gonna make sure I have my ear protection, eye protection, and a respirator because the router creates a lot of really fine dust. So I don't wanna be distracted by it. I also don't wanna be inhaling that a bunch. Um, so it just makes for a much safer process. I'm also gonna scribble in a bit where I want to have my positive spaces just so that when I'm actually routing, I don't get confused because I'm looking at such a tight space. All right, so we'll see how it goes. and uh, we're gonna take it to the bandsaw. So I'm just gonna clean up some of the corners here since I can't get that with the round bit. I'm just gonna take the chisels, get into these corners and pull them out. All right, so now I'm just gonna cut off the rest of the negative space that we don't need. Um, and it's just gonna leave us with the block print. So we've reached the printing stage. I'm going to put uh, paint onto our wood block. I'm gonna roll it out here with the brayer. Chose a nice green paint, deep green, to kind of match this leafy feel. The image in the movie was black and white, but yeah, lighten up the space. So I'm gonna roll this out, add it on here, and then we'll print across the pillowcase. Pretty cool. I'm gonna add a little more paint next time. Good amount of paint on here, so it transfers really nicely. Okay, and we're gonna print again.
looking pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with how this Wes Anderson pillow came out. Um, I would say my forte lies a bit heavier in making something like a woodblock print, uh, not as much in the printing realm with the color, um, but that's fine. You know, I learned a bit more about having a brayer, should definitely spend a bit more money on it. This one kind of fought me the whole way through. See, it doesn't like continue to roll, so I wasn't able to get a nice coating on top of the woodblock. So we ended up with a little bit of contrast in the consistency of color across. I kind of like how it turned out anyways. It's more homemade, it's not as uniform, it doesn't feel like store-bought, mass-produced. I like that, I would put this in my home and I can definitely see myself taking a little nap on it.